Hello, welcome. My name is Stan. This is a reading today for The Collective. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Um, I did sit down to do the Pisces reading today, but as I got into the message, I realized that it was collective. That generally happens. I don't sit down intending to do collective messages. They just present themselves as collective. So here we are um, doing your reading with a giant stack of three decks combined in one. So you're going to see a mix of all three in the spread. So we've got ice or purity on the split. This is a really intriguing card to me because this horse kind of approaching from the distance on the surface um, is going to break up that ice, right? Which could be a really uncomfortable experience for whoever this is, it's kind of in the dark. So, and then we've got the king of air at the bottom of the deck, right? The king of the king of swords, the king of truth, perhaps. He comes through usually as a very spiritual energy for me just because he's got those giant wings and he's so enormous. He's like an angelic presence. It's interesting actually, he's kind of, he's wanting to be this horse today. It's like that's the approaching energy that's, that's about to blow through. I'm not necessarily getting that this figure represents who does that represent? I want to just say it represents somebody who's in the dark, right? That this energy moving through, this truth, this light that's moving through may be an uncomfortable experience for those who reside in the dark. So that's really interesting. Okay, so let's pull an overall energy for the collective from the Creativity Oracle. Okay, I gotta focus. This card, for some reason, this figure under the ice here is just pulling me into, it's making me think of the moon card that's also in that deck, I believe, and it's got like, it's hard to describe it. It keeps pulling me into the moon energy for some reason. I don't know if that's significant, but okay. But the moon is pulling me out of my focus, which has a lot of information in there. I'm not gonna get into that. Okay, collaboration. Okay, so the card says collaboration. This is the image on the front. <clears throat> so it's just talking about creative people kind of inspiring each other by working together or just, you know, inspiring each other. I'll just read it. Creative people can be inspired by sharing and stimulating creativity in others. Okay, what's really fascinating about it though is that, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it's suddenly making me think of another collective reading that I did some time ago that I will link at the end of this if you're interested in that. It actually has a very similar vibe about it where it's almost like there, there is a collaboration being put on the table Um, by almost some beings that are other, that, um, it's basically like foreign or alien energies that could be, I mean, we could be talking about like literally off planet alien type of collaboration coming in, or it's just talking about kind of unusual pairings or groupings or collaborations, people or groups that wouldn't normally or haven't previously worked together. And so in that way, it's foreign or unusual or alien. You see what I'm saying? <coughs> but it feels like this foreign entity coming in and proposing collaboration, which is interesting to the cards that are already here on the table. Okay. so. We're beginning here with this magic 
or alchemy card, which has been coming up in a lot of the readings, actually. It's almost wanting to connect with this guy here just because of this almost like this angelic kind of presence here, this wing starting to form here. This card has been kind of showing itself as something that's coming into being. Like it's not quite crystallized yet or it's not quite formalized yet, but its its shape is beginning to reveal itself. What, I was, what else I was getting about this card today is this light. It's the light that's been in the background of the ta the tower cards for the last couple of years, especially kind of the collective energy. <coughs> um, there's been the tower in the foreground. In fact, I'm realizing right now that there's I have a couple of tower cards that has this kind of light in the background and the tower in the foreground is kind of blocking out the light that's in the background. And what I'm seeing here today is that this is like the same energy, except the tower has now been cleared away and we're moving into the light in the background of that image. It's like we finally arrived in that phase of the journey as a collective past the tower energy and moving into this lighter energy that is beginning to take form or beginning to take shape. And it may be doing that in the form of some sort of a collaboration that's coming forward. Um, the Eight of Water coming next. I'm focused on the ship here in the background because this card that came out next to it, the knowledge, it's like this approaching energy. It's the approaching light, right? It's like the breakthrough that, that we have been waiting through, perhaps. It's coming through as knowledge, and especially with this King of Swords, right? It's like information coming in, a new body of knowledge being introduced that could really change the shape of things, which is really interesting as I'm talking about something coming into form. It's like information that will shape the experience or the path moving forward, but it's coming through as kind of like a breakthrough. It's coming in with the star actually, which is funny because I'm talking about foreign or alien energies, especially with this, this knowledge card here. It's got these kind of yellow orbs coming in. It's like it's coming in. It's coming in from quite a ways away. And then when it lands in front of us, here it is, right? You see what I'm saying? It's like, it's presenting to us this star energy, but this, it's basically wanting to emphasize that it's something new to the equation. That's why it's coming through as outside, right? It doesn't have to literally be something off planet in that regard, but it's something that is being um, brought into the equation or the scenario or the global experience that is new to the equation. And it's, I want to say that it's, um, coming through as kind of a breakthrough energy and that it, it potentially changes the landscape. It opens up incredible impo impossibilities, incredible possibilities. In fact, to the point where it's almost presenting itself here in the imagery as like this portal being opened within the planet or for the planet. I'm not sure how to how to unpack that energy yet, but let's just continue on as it's presented. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay, so we're now moving into this light energy. What it is is perhaps just coming into truth or knowledge that will change the landscape. It's actually coming through as, like I said, breakthrough energy, but it's also coming through as um, a kind of It's almost coming through as like a proposition or a presentation. It's almost like a presentation is being given followed by a proposition. So it goes like this, the star and this card here, which says playfulness is looking to me like the presentation, right? It's like spotlight on this energy that is just arriving into the, into the equation. It's like adding a new element, right? So it's, it's something that, could change things to the profound level of, for example, bringing in a new element to the periodic table. Changes the entire makeup of all existence, all matter. There's a new element to be added. Everything can be arranged in new formations. Something 
profound to that level. I'm not saying that that's exactly what's occurring, but it's just coming through with that kind of symbolism. But it's coming through like really playfully with this playfulness energy, right? It's looking like a presentation, like I said. It came through in a reading a few days ago about almost like watching a movie, being in a theater and watching this movie that has this profound lasting effect on the consciousness of everyone who witnesses it. And it feels to me like everyone is witnessing it. If not all at the same time, like some big grand presentation that everybody sees at once, it's definitely like word is spreading. It's affecting everyone profoundly enough that word spreads qu quickly and others quickly join in and want to receive this information or receive this kind of breakthrough knowledge. They want to understand it. You know what's really interesting though? Okay, there, there seems to be kind of two versions of things going on in the last few years that I've noticed. It's almost like there are two versions of reality. Like every, it's almost like the collective is split in two and we're both having similar experiences, but they're, they're parallel and almost the flip of each other. So there's almost two versions of things going on. I'm not articulating it very well, but it's something like how I believe technology is in a sense, trying to emulate what our consciousness inherently and naturally is capable of. For example, Google, uh, or just the internet, you know, makes uh, everybody immediately connected. It connects us. It's almost like a, tele a, tele a telepathy, in a sense, like an artificial telepathy and the ability to have knowledge at our fingertips by just searching, by just asking an answer appears, right? And I'm thinking that is just a technical representation of what our consciousness is capable of naturally, right? So it's almost like a stand-in for what we should be naturally evolving into. So what's fascinating here is I'm looking at this playfulness card. I'm suddenly getting reminded of the whole presentation that was just given on the new metaverse that is about to be launched or is is now being talked about as as being developed right because i'm seeing it like that like some sort of a, a preview an introduction saying look at what's on the horizon look at what what we're about to step into as a collective isn't it intriguing right so that's fascinating because it's like there's one version of it that's being presented as the metaverse but what does the techno the the technical artificial metaverse represent for the real natural consciousness right so it's like there's another version over here okay so interesting so am i tapping into the constructed metaverse or am I t am I tapping into the real thing kind of coming into view here okay so and it reminds me actually there was a reading I did I don't know a month six weeks ago where I was really kind of stuck on the word meta for a time in the reading which is really interesting to me now that this whole meta thing is coming out okay so there seems to be some sort of a, a playful preview or demonstration of what this new breakthrough information or knowledge or whatever it is, the new thing coming into the scenario, it's being presented as look at the possibilities here. And it's all very exciting and playful and intriguing and beautiful and kind of like technicolor, right? But what's interesting is that then here, the energy shifts in a really profound way to be, it's almost like this is, a pre, this is the presentation and then this is the turning it back on you. It suddenly becomes serious or really important. It's presented as playful and intriguing and perhaps something that you would like to experience 
But then this energy here, it suddenly becomes, and now you must decide, which is, as I'm saying these words, I'm remembering readings I've had over the past year where this kind of a story has come up a few times where there seems to be some sort of a being that tells a story of like a distant land and then says, and now what do you want to do? Do you want to come see it? Do you want to come experience it, right? It's suddenly, it has something to do with the shift between these two energies as they came out, the playful energy shifting to this high priestess. It's like this big fireworks display and then this focused in like eye con it's like the eyes are locked in, right? The eyes are locked in and saying, and and now what would you like to do? How do how does this feel to you as a possibility? And then this healing spirit coming next, it was talking about, it's talking about healing. Like literally, it's like, clearly, it's talking about healing. Um, what it's saying, okay, this, let me back up a little bit. It's, it's like there's a promise of experience or impact of experience being wiped clean. It's like a clean slate energy, which that, which results in the healing, right? So it's kind of this, what, what do you say collective? Would you like to come experience this playful scenario, this playful possibility in doing so it kind of wipes the slate clean and promises a healing in a sense, right? But, in order to receive that healing, there's kind of this need to step through a portal or somehow have this paradigm shift occur or agree to a paradigm shift. That's how why it could be being presented as a portal because it's kind of like by stepping through the portal, you're entering into a completely different agreement a completely different storyline perhaps and that could be why it's coming through with this clean slate energy it's like by passing through by 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 agreeing to experience this everything is wiped clean it's like a fresh new start right which is interesting so what i was seeing here is like all the colors and the display on this image is kind of in the background here right it's like it's like this is the presentation this is the proposition and then it's like it opens up and kind of invites you in do you want to be a part of this do you want to come and be a part of this so but what's interesting is that it's like i'm having a hard time feeling whether this is what version of the story is this maybe it's both maybe it's both versions of things happening just like i was saying about how there seems to be two versions of everything happening so there could be two versions of this happening as well one of them like i said could be the metaverse the other one is whatever the universal offering is or universal happening is that the metaverse the metaverse is echoing or imitating you see what i'm saying so the six of air in the expansion card coming next, it was looking like this, right? This kind of um, movement through this portal energy, moving away from this expansion energy, which actually has been coming through as almost like a fading memory. It comes through actually as nostalgia for me because it looks like kind of an old snapshot that's fading from just seeing too much sun, right? It's like, a, it's like a happy memory. I know it says expansion on it, but to me, when I look at it, I see kind of the good old days, the like our childhood, the days when we used to spend on the farm. It's like something like that. But what it's talking about is that something like, but that's fading away and we're now needing to move in a, a different and new way through this transition the par this paradigm shift, it's kind of presenting itself as this is fading anyway. You can't go back to the past. The past is now 
It's moving quickly farther away from us, especially because we seem to be, well, it's interesting, all of this, all of this energy here with the ship. The ship is significant. These two cards are really significant to the collective right now. They've been, they've been kind of the collective theme energies that have been coming up for the past couple of weeks. And it has to do with kind of multidimensionality or shifting perspective in a, in such a profound way that it's almost like looking at exactly the same scene that you've always looked at, but something has shifted in it that, that it's this kind of paradigm shift, right? It's almost like everything flipping on its head, everything almost reversing or like turning inside out or opening up where, where, where you thought the, the exact place where you thought was an immovable blockage is now opening up and presenting the most amazing opportunity. You see, it's something like that where it's like polar opposites. Now I'm, I know somebody's going to say the pole shift or like perhaps maybe we're, we're talking about something like that. But if it, if it is something like that, it's that that pole shift energy is kind of a metaphor or a symbol for things kind of being flipped or turned on its head or corrected, right? The energy being quickly corrected because it, because somehow it's gotten off balance or you see what I'm saying? And so it's being quickly corrected. And in that energy, it's kind of opening up some sort of a proposition or opportunity to move into a new engagement, a new collaboration. And I feel like it's coming through in two ways. Like I was saying, there's kind of the constructed version and then there's the authentic version. So perhaps keeping that in the forefront of our minds as we're moving into the next phase of the collective story, be mindful about which version you're tapping into or being presented, right? Is this, is this a, a technology or is this a natural occurrence? Okay, so that's interesting. So it's basically, it feels to me like as a collective, perhaps maybe it, like maybe it's a collective decision, but maybe it's an individual decision. Each of us in the collective get to face soon, but it feels like the whole thing is this grand presentation about the promise of the future, or like I said, clean slate, fresh new start. But then you have to make a decision whether or not to enter into that agreement. And if you say yes, it means a absolute break from the past. It's like this energy is, well, it's kind of coming through as this energy is gone anyway. This energy is from the past anyway. So it's kind of like, if that's your anchor, if that's what's, if that's what's keeping you from a, a resounding yes, is the fact that you will have to kind of have this clean slate. You know, it's like, this is, this is crazy. If, okay, this is just an extreme example, but it's something like if you were promised a brand new, healthy, vibrant, abundant, fresh new start, but it required a complete wipe of your memory and mind, like pure amnesia. It's almost like stepping into a new lifetime, right? But if you were actually, this is very sci-fi, if you were actually literally presented with that, you know, it's almost like with, is that the case too with the metaverse? Like by stepping into the metaverse, committing to the metaverse, are we then still able to extract ourselves and engage in, in the real physical world? Or like once we're in it, is it too difficult to detangle from, just like the internet is, right? The internet, in a sense, is the emerging metaverse because how do you untangle from the internet? We're already so interwoven into it that if the grid went down, we wouldn't know what to do with ourselves, right? So it's something like that. It's like, if you're gonna, if you're going to step into this, you, there's no going back, basically, right? So it kind of, it sounds really, 
I feel like very strongly there are two versions. And so the whole message here going forward is to just have that in mind, to have complete discernment and awareness about the about that reality, about the fact that there are kind of two versions or two timelines of things and to be mindful of which which presentation it is that you are privy to, right? Okay, so I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. Um, see what else wants to come out about this. If you're interested in that, the link to the extended is in the description box. And if not, I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.